Hey everybody, this is Larry. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know how you're doing this problem. I'm going to solve it live right about now. Yeah, so in this section of two arrays, 349, given two arrays, write a function to compute their intersection. Okay, each element can, in the result must be unique. The result can be in any order. Okay, so there's a couple of ways that you can think about this problem. The naive algorithm would just be n square. Um, in that you look at each element and see if it's in the other array. But you have to keep track of, uh, you have to make sure that basically, you have to make sure that, oh, this is a little bit weird. Okay, each element in the result must be unique. So yeah, so we don't have to care about it that much. We just, there are a couple of ways to do it. The way that I'm gonna do it now is just by using a set and then put all the numbers in the first number, uh, first list in the set. And then in the second no, way, um, yeah, in fact, mm, I'm just going to be a little bit lazy and then convert both of them to a set and then use a set intersection in Python. So d depending on, on your language, this may or may not be easy, but that is basically how I'm going to do it. Let's, uh, let's get started. So set one is equal to the set of nums one. Uh, Set two is equal to set of nums two. And then now we just, we're gonna return a list. So we return a list version of set one into set, set two. That might not be Python syntax though. Okay, so maybe it is. Uh, okay, because I, I don't remember the overloading functions, but now let's put in a few cases. So that looks good. I feel confident. Let's submit the problem or solution. And fingers crossed. Okay, so cool. Yeah, accept it. Um, yeah, so this is a very basic problem. The way that I did it is a little bit lazy. It is O of n in time and space, uh, even though it, it is uh, hidden away but because we're using libraries. Um, you, can, you could definitely improve the space usage. Right now it's O of n plus m, where n is the size of the num1 and m is the size of num2. Uh, you can actually make it the min of n or m and that will be slightly faster. But you cannot go, uh, you cannot do better than looking at every item at least once. So you cannot beat linear time for this problem. So yeah, so that's intersection of two arrays. Um, in terms of, yeah, for interview problems, I think this one is pretty basic. I don't think necessarily that this will be a problem by itself, but this will be the basis of harder lead code problems or interview problems. So definitely uh, get familiar with it. Uh, and in the same vein, uh, for competitive programming, this is too basic to be considered. So you have to just know it. Okay, cool.